Thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. I rise to ask question number three, listed on my name, in my name in today's order paper. This question is directed to the Minister for <coughs> Infrastructure and Transport. Can the Minister please confirm if the Auditor General will scrutinize and table the financial report for the Fiji Roads Upgrading uh, Authority in the House? Thank you. Thank you. The Minister for Infrastructure and Transport. <coughs> Uh, thank you, um, Madam Speaker, and I thank the Honourable Member for his question. And uh, I also, maybe with your consent, Madam Speaker, I'll wish my fellow member a Happy New Year as we proceed uh, the proceedings of the House in this particular sitting. I'm also amazed, Madam Speaker, that this is the first question on FRA that the Honourable Member is raising without having a concern for road in Delhi or not. So I'm, I'm glad that he's now progressing his question more for the national interest. But for the benefit of the House, Madam Speaker, and also for the Honourable Member, the Fiji Roads Authority, a commercial statutory authority, which was formally established in 2012, and then has proceeded from there until now, so it's been two years since its inception, uh, has had all its accounts and proceedings, financial proceedings, audited by the Office of the Auditor General. And as such, the reports will then be tabled into the House uh, for the scrutiny of the Public Accounts Committee and, um, and, for, and for, the, um, for the information of the House and the nation in general. But also for the benefit of the House and for the Honourable Member that is asking the question, these reports, the financial reports, is part of the annual uh, report of the authority which has been published uh, on the website of Fiji Roads Authority. And uh, I, I will just uh, read out the, uh, the, the website for the benefit of the member. Maybe he would like to have a read of it because it's been published since 2012. It's www.fijiroads.org. And um, I, I encourage the honorable member to have a look at it because it will give him all the details. And I'm sure it will be very good information for the honorable member. Uh, leader of the National Federation Party, Chairman of the, National, the Public Accounts Committee, to start having a look at it because it's already on the public record. So, the short answer, Madam Speaker, yes, it's going to be tabled before the House. Thank you. Thank you. Supplementary question. Madam Speaker, we continue to question the capacity of FRA to spend $653 million this year. It would help if you can relate that to the spending in 2014 to see the relativity and see whether there is any there will be any huge increase and, and the question whether they can they can they have the capacity to, to spend the 653. Do we have the figures for 2014 roughly? The minister would have some rough ideas on 2014. Because the question will be requiring some statistics um, and it's really the, uh, the, the uh, content of the, uh, of the original question is really to scrutinize with the Auditor General scrutiny table and financial reports of the Fiji Roads Authority, and that has been adequately uh, answered. However, um, uh, given that your question is, of statistic is statistical in nature, we can ask the Attorney General maybe to, uh, if he does not have the uh, figures now, that he can submit that. Uh, sorry, not the Attorney General, the Minister. Um, to submit that, uh, the answer to that question at a later date, or written and written form? Uh, Madam Speaker, I, I thank you for your, your guidance on the matter, and I also thank the Honourable Member for his concerns in terms of the capacity of the Fiji Roads Authority to deliver on the budget of uh, 2015. I would like to assure the Honourable Member in this Honourable House um, we, we, we do our own plannings before uh, making determinations on what is uh, the capacity of any government department to deliver on its budget. We have not had any capacity issues with regards to the past. We have built our capacity over the last two years to be able to deliver, and that is a commitment we made to the nation. We will deliver. And uh, with regards to the second issue where you, Madam Speaker, have already uh, made some comments, uh, I will be uh, very happy, uh, Madam Speaker, to provide these figures to the Honourable Member in terms of uh, the, 
uh, the expenditures for 2014, but I think that is subject to the Public Accounts Committee's deliberation in any event, so thank you. Thank you.